Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a hits and misses video, but we are going to be talking about luxury makeup. Very, 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 very pricey makeup. And in my eyes, the way I see it is you have drugstore makeup or affordable makeup in one category, then you have high-end makeup, which is like Kat Von D, Too Faced, Becca, Tarte, Bare Minerals, NARS, those kinds of brands. And then you have the luxury makeup, which is like Tom Ford, Dior, Burberry, Guerlain, Givenchy, Charlotte Tilbury, YSL, Giorgio Armani, those kinds of brands that are even pricier than MAC or Too Faced or any of those brands. So those are the brands I will be talking about today. I have gotten so many requests slightly to review more high-end more luxury makeup and I don't really love to do that not for any specific reason it's just I don't really like to shop in the luxury makeup aisle like Dior doesn't call my name as much as Too Faced does it's just personal preference I rather shop those aisles versus those aisles but I take all my subscribers into consideration and even though I do a lot of affordable makeup looks I thought I would buy a bunch of luxury makeup and put it to the test now I have been buying all of these products throughout a few months I think I've been gathering some of these for about six months now and I've tried them off camera and I have my thoughts on them and I have to give my disclaimer if you are someone who really really hates luxury makeup, if you're someone who would never spend that kind of money on makeup, it's not worth it, it's pointless, then this video is not for you. And trust me, I feel the same way. If it wasn't for my YouTube channel, I would have no desire personally to shop these brands. But my life is makeup now. My whole life is makeup now, so I thought I would try these out. If you're someone who's like, nope, not my thing, just please, no negative comments, just click out of the video. I have more affordable videos on my channel, and trust me, I won't be making this a habit. But for those of you who love luxury makeup, love buying it, or even if you don't love buying it, you like hearing about it, this video is for you. But I will say, I'm going to be brutally honest. I mean, I'm always honest in my videos, but because of the prices of some of these products, some of these prices are so ridiculous, I just have to be extra brutal with them because a lot of these are not worth the money. So I do have to split this video up into two parts because I have a crap ton of stuff. Let me know if you even wanna see part two. Maybe you're just not interested in this kind of video at all so you don't wanna see a part two, but let me know. But I'm gonna go in categories of brands. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Tom Ford, Burberry, Guerlain, Cojun Dough, and then miscellaneous, like I have one product from Givenchy and one product from La Prairie, because La Prairie is stupid expensive, I, would, I, I bought one thing. And then if you wanna see a part two, I will be talking about Giorgio Armani, Chanel, Dior, Charlotte Tilbury, and YSL. So let me know if you do wanna see part two. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started on Tom Ford. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is something I don't think is worth it at all. Out of all the Tom Ford products I purchased, this is the one I like the least. This is the Tom Ford, you knew that, eye color quad in the shade Nude Dip. Now, when it comes to luxury makeup, the packaging is phenomenal. Like, look at this. Look at the stunning packaging. And of course, it gets points for that because I'm a packaging junkie. I love nice packaging. But I don't like this at all. This is what I have on my eyes today. For the money, I don't think it's worth it. This is $82. That's way more than a Too Faced chocolate bar palette. Way more than a Naked palette. It's so overpriced. And I know, it's Tom Ford. I'm aware. But the pigmentation on these eyeshadows is not as good as Too Faced. It's not as good as Makeup Geek even. Makeup Geek, that's like $6 an eyeshadow. The only eyeshadow I do think is really, really nice is this chocolatey color right here. It's an average eyeshadow palette. You only get four eyeshadows. Basically, you're just paying for the really amazing packaging, in my opinion. I just don't ever see myself reaching for this, which bums me out because I paid a pretty penny. Okay, so this next product I actually really love, and I was so shocked that I like it. So, and I'm actually so bummed that I like it so much because <laughs> it's as expensive. This is the bronzing powder in the shade Terra. It came out with their like summer collection, I believe, because it's in this really beautiful white and gold packaging. Just open it up like this, and this is the bronzer. This is what I use today to contour. I do have another bronzer on top that I'll talk about in a little bit, but when I bought this and I touched it for the first time, I was like, oh, it doesn't really feel that great. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. It might be a little patchy, but I don't know if it's the color. I think it's a mixture of the undertone and the formula. I love the look it gives my face. It contours, but then it also makes me look a little bit tan. I don't know. It's awesome. It's stunning. It's $68, which is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I'll re honestly, I don't know if I'll repurchase any of these things if I go through them. I don't know because I have a ton of bronzers in my collection that I love just as much as this. 
so I'm not sure but this is something that I'm not upset I bought and I have a feeling I'm gonna use it all up because I think it is so so beautiful so this is one of these products that I'm like eh, it's whatever. This is the cheek color in the shade Love Lust. This is actually a really pretty blush. I think it looks really nice on the cheeks. The only thing I don't love is that it's a little bit powdery. When you dip your brush in, you get like that kick up and I don't really love that because sometimes it can look a little bit powdery on my skin. I don't care about kick up when it comes to eyeshadows. But for blush, that's not my favorite. The one thing I do love about this is the packaging because a lot of high-end blushes, when you open it, it comes with like a tiny little brush and then you get like a little, little thing of blush. And I hate that about luxury blushes, but this one doesn't do that. You get a whole pan of blush. I would categorize this product as an eh, it's not bad, but it's not amazing either. Next product is, I'm trying to go through these products really quickly because I have so much to talk about. Next product is the eye-defining pen in the shade Deeper. Now this is amazing. I heard Nikki Tutorials rave about this and then I ran and purchased it because I wanted to include it in this video and I'm so glad I did because it's actually fabulous. You get two sides right here. You get kind of like a longer brush tip and then on this side you get more of a shorter felt tip. So you have like your two options. I used this today to do my wing and it was so easy to do a wing. I was shocked. There's something about this brush tip that's even better than the Kat Von D, which is probably like a ride or die product for me. And then I did my little flick with the short felt side. It was really easy to control because it is so tiny. These are one of those products that if you are looking into Tom Ford makeup, try out the liquid liner. I don't think you'll regret it. It's pricey, but wow really really great my next product is something that I've heard everyone talk about recently this is their lipstick in the shade blush nude Tom Ford lipsticks are probably the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen I love black and gold Tom Ford can do no wrong when it comes to packaging honestly I actually really 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 love this color I'm wearing it today I have a lip gloss on top and I love the way it smells so many luxury brands love to make their lipsticks smell like chemicals or like a powdery floral scent. I don't love that floral scent. This one smells like vanilla. I have a cold so I'm really, really stuffy, but yeah, it smells like vanilla. <laughs> and the formula is actually really nice. It lasts a very, very, very long time on my lips. Now with that being said, this is a $53 lipstick. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, I think the NARS Audacious lipsticks are better and they last longer. Those lipsticks are also pricey, but they're $33, I think, compared to so if you are looking for an amazing, creamy, high quality, high end lipstick, I would go with the NARS Audacious. But for what it's worth, this is a great, great lipstick. And then my last Tom Ford product is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Moonlight. Mood Light, excuse me. This is what it looks like. It's just a highlighting palette with two colors. You get like a white creamy color and then a stunning champagne opal kind of color. I have a mixture of these two highlights on my cheekbones today, but I added another highlight on top. This, I don't know how to feel about it. A part of me really, really loves it, and then a part of me thinks like, I mean, that's what you will take. I kind of feel like the texture of this isn't as smooth, oh, but it's so pretty. I don't know, but I do like the fact that you get two different colors. This color is stunning. If they just sold this color individually by itself, then I would think it's worth it because maybe they would lower the price, but this color right here doesn't wow me the way that this one does. It's beautiful and I like the mixture of both, but this one when I swatch it, it just kind of looks like nothing really. It's, I don't know. Do I love it or do I not? I can't decide. Oh wait, no, there's one more Tom Ford product I wanna talk about and I actually don't like this at all. No, it's not that I don't like it, I just don't think it's worth the money. This is the Tom Ford Cream Powder Eye Color in the shade Naked Bronze. This is one of those products that when you open it, it has the powder eyeshadow right here and then when you open the bottom it has a cream eyeshadow. This goes on the eyes so beautifully. I think it is stunning. It's a very very good product but I think there's too many dupes on the market to make this worth it. For example, the Dose of Colors Ideal Duos are way 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 cheaper and they kind of give you the same vibe. The only difference is on the top of the Dose of Colors ones you get the cream and then you get the powder eyeshadow on the bottom versus the Tom Ford it's kind of like reversed. The Tom Ford one is bigger and you probably get more product, but how often do you go through like something like this? Not very often. There's also an Estee Lauder one that dupes it as well. 
I just think there are too many dupes to make this worth it in my personal opinion. Okay, so the next brand I want to talk about is Guerlain. Am I saying that right? Guerlain? Guerlain? I'm not sure. I only have three products to talk about. I just didn't know what to buy. I heard a lot of people talk about Tom Ford, so I knew what I wanted to get. Actually, one of these things I've heard people rave about, which is why I bought it. Let's talk about that first. Okay, the first Guerlain product I want to talk about is this right here. This is the Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base. This is the Guerlain primer that has literally literally gold flecks in it oh my god this this is expensive for a face primer what it's crazy it's crazy I don't think it's worth the money but only only because of my skin when I saw Tati's video she had put it on and I, I even saw it like I saw her video and I could tell that one side of her face I think she did it on like half her face it looked firmer. So immediately I was like, whoa, that is so worth the price. If it does that, so worth the price. But personally for me, I didn't really get that effect. I didn't notice much of a difference. Everybody has different experiences with products. I know people love and rave about this, but for me, it kind of felt like a hydrating water essence. If you are someone who you really like firming products or you really want to lift to your skin, you might really, really love this. It's just not something that it's not for me. Okay, let's talk about a Guerlain product that, oh my gosh, I love. This is my favorite, my new favorite brow gel. Or brow, whatever. This is the Master Brow Groom. Is this Guerlain or Givenchy now? I'm super confused. Oh my god, no, this is Givenchy. Oh, this isn't Guerlain. Sorry, just kidding. Okay, we're gonna talk about that later. So I guess we have two Givenchy products in this video. Wow, so I only have one more Guerlain product to talk about. Wow, I am so unprofesh. This next Guerlain product I actually do really love as well. This is the Lingerie de Peau Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation with Sunscreen SPF 20. This foundation is beautiful. This looks stunning on the skin. It has amazing reviews on Sephora, which is why I bought it. And I agree with everyone. Just read those reviews. It's crazy. It looks so pretty and smooth. It really just smooths out my skin. And it looks so nice. It's a beautiful glass bottle. It has a pump, so A plus for that. And even though it has SPF 20, I don't feel like it leaves a white cast. I think it looks stunning. Okay, let's talk about the two Givenchy products because I thought this was Guerlain and I'm a dork. This is the Givenchy Master Brow Room Brow Gel. This brow gel is my favorite clear brow gel, hands down. My favorite color brow gel will always be the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper, but when it comes to like a clear gel, this is my favorite. This is my holy grail. It's amazing. I love to do kind of like a feathery brow look where you really brush up your brows and they kind of look a little bit bushy and feathery. I like that look. I think it's so like Romeo and Juliet. And whenever I do that with any clear brow gel, they fall throughout the day. They kind of go back to my natural looking brow throughout the day. This one keeps them up and feathery the entire day. I love this so much. I think it's so worth it. I will repurchase this once I run out of it. This is something that I think it's hands down so worth the money. I also really love that it's not goopy. I have so many clear brow gels that when you take it out, when you start to apply it to your brows, you get like wet eyebrows. This doesn't do that. I cannot recommend this enough. I also bought it in the shade Brunette. This one is transparent, but I don't like the Brunette shade as much as this one. So I'm super bummed out about that. I think it's way too dark for my, I mean, that's just way too dark for my brows. Okay, and then the last Givenchy product I have is the Healthy Glow Powder Bronzer in the shade number four. This is the packaging, so beautiful. And then when you open it, this is the bronzer. This is the bronzer I have on top of the Tom Ford bronzer today. I actually really, really like this. I really like the formula. This is a very similar formula to the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. This one in the shade number four gives you such a beautiful sheen to the face in a very subtle, natural way. Like, it's dark, it's dark, but it applies really soft and glowy and so, so pretty. I really like this bronzer. It's expensive, but it's so, so pretty. I really like it. Okay, let's talk about Burberry makeup. And there's actually one product that I, I'm not including in this video because I gave it away and I didn't like it at all. It was the Burberry um, Glowy Shimmery Primer. I didn't like it at all. It kind of looked glittery on my face. I just, I was not into it, so I gave it to my sister and I don't even know if she likes it or not but it wasn't for me. And if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Burberry is one of those brands that I struggle with. I love the packaging, but it's, well, I don't know. I don't wanna talk about 
these too long because I think they were limited edition. Yeah, this was the spring and summer runway palette in number one white and number two nude gold. This is what they look like. They look similar on camera, but they're completely different colors. I love this shade. I think it goes on so beautiful on the cheekbones. Stunning. This one I don't really like that much. It looks white and chunky on my cheeks. If you're someone who couldn't get this and you're bummed out about it, I wouldn't be too sad about it. It's really not that great. I would highly recommend Becca's Pearl Highlight. It's also a white shimmery highlight, but it's much, much prettier than this one. Let's talk about something that I do love, love, love. This is the Burberry Cat Lashes Mascara, and I got mine in chestnut brown. And maybe a major reason why I love this mascara so much is the fact that it's brown. I think it's so pretty. I love the color. Every time I put on this mascara, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love my lashes. But I also really love the formula too. I love that it's called Cat Lashes because that's what I feel like when I put it on. The wand is so nice, and it's flexible, but not too flexible to the point where I can't wiggle in there, you know what I'm saying? It's very volumizing, I think it looks so pretty, and I love the chestnut brown because it's not too light. It's brown, but it's a dark brown, but you can tell it's brown. I really, really, really like this. This next product you've heard me talk about before and that I mentioned I didn't really like it. This is the Light Glow Natural Blush in the shade Earthy Blush number no. 7. This is what I'm talking about, people. Why do luxury brands do this? You'll be fooled into thinking, wow, that's a huge blush. I'm gonna open this and it's gonna be beautiful and big and then you're like, meh, not really. I like it, I think it's a really pretty color with a hint of pink, it's nice. I just realized, holy crap, I'm stuffy and I can smell this. This smells like Colonia. Oh my god, my childhood just like came back into my mind. That's crazy. The smell is really beautiful, but maybe if you're sensitive to super fragrant blushes, you might not like this. I love natural blush. You guys know I'm into a very natural looking blush, but I don't like the fact that it's so small. I didn't use the brush here, so I just like tossed it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it that much. Sorry, I just don't like it that much. I can't pretend. I can't pretend. And then the last Burberry product I have is the Kisses Gloss in the shade Nude Beige number 17. I don't want to sound so negative in this video. This is the uh, lip gloss I'm wearing right now. And it is super pretty. It's really, really pretty, but I don't think it's glossy enough. The packaging is so stunning, but I love my Buxom glosses way more, and they're more affordable. And if I'm going to be honest, I would probably reach for my ColourPop glosses over this one, and those glosses are like $6. It's a beautiful color, but it doesn't last that long. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't smell bad, not chemically smelling. I give you major points for that, but there's better glosses on the market. Okay, so we're almost done with part one. I have four more products to talk about. Three from Kojindo and one from La Prairie. I don't want to talk about the Kojindo Spa Water Makeup Remover Wipes in this video because I've talked about them in the past. I love those. Literally, my favorite wipes Ever are the Cojun Doe Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. Amazing. I think they're super saturated, super amazing. I, I love them. But let's talk about a Cojun Doe product I don't love at all. This is the Moisture Foundation. I hate this. I feel very strongly about how much I don't like this. It's very, very pricey. It's like $60. It's tiny. I mean, you get, do you get one ounce? It's 0.71 ounces, so it's not a full ounce. It's not tiny. That was dramatic. But it's like 60 bucks and it looks so drying on my skin. I mean, I'm going through something right now. My whole forehead all the way down to here, like all of this, is full of really dry, bumpy pimples. So my skin is even drier than ever. So maybe it was a bad time to test this, but it looks so drying on my skin. I don't like this. The coverage isn't that great. I don't know. I don't like this at all. And I'm sorry, but so not worth the money. There's so many foundations on the market that are way, way better than this. I'm just not a fan at all. But a foundation that is from Kojin Doe that I think is ridiculously worth the money <laughs> is the Aqua Foundation. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. I have a powder foundation on top that I'll talk about in part two, if you want to see part two. But this foundation is beautiful. This is in the shade 213, and it kind of has a little bit of an olive undertone. It looks just slightly green on me until I put on the rest of my makeup, but I love this. I love this foundation so much. Out of all the luxury foundations I've ever tried, this is my favorite. It's around the same price as their moisture foundation. It doesn't moisturize. But it's so much better, so much better. I even love the packaging way more. Look how like fancy, that's beautiful. It looks like my skin had a drink of water when I apply this. 
like I said earlier, I've had really bad dry issues and this doesn't emphasize my dryness at all. It looks flawless on the skin. So not like too dewy, but it gives you a beautiful dewy finish and I highly recommend it. I think it is worth the money. And then the last Crescendo product I want to talk about, I also really love. This is their Aqua Foundation Illuminator. This is in the shade Sheer Beige. This looks beautiful mixed in any foundation. I like the Becca Liquid Illuminators, but I like this more because it isn't as thick. This one is a little bit more runny and it's a little bit more forgiving when you mix it in with products. I've never really tried this on its own. I've used it as a primer and mixed in with foundation and that's how I like it. I really, really, really love this. It's a pricey liquid illuminator, but I think it's so beautiful. And then the last product I'm gonna talk about is shocking, is shocking in terms of price. And unfortunately, I'm gonna end this video on a negative note because I don't like it. And I might be the only one who doesn't like it. This is the La Prairie. Cellular Treatment Powder Foundation. This is $95. I don't know what I was thinking, but I saw Tati's video and she, her, her WTF series is so fun for me to watch. Even though I don't really buy luxury makeup, I love watching it. And when I saw her apply this, I was like, that has amazing coverage. I need to buy that for this video that I'm gonna film. And I thought I was gonna love it, but I don't love it. First of all, I don't think the packaging is that great. It's, it's freaking plastic. Like, so is the Tom Ford one, but I, I don't know, I, whatever, nobody cares. That's just me being super picky, but. I have mine in the shade Beige Door. Oh. And even though this gives really, really beautiful coverage, like I'm talking like full coverage. This is a full coverage powder foundation. This covers a lot. It sits on top of my skin. Like I said earlier, I'm having skin issues. Maybe if my skin gets better in the future, I will try it out again but it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin. Like I could literally see it. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, my skin looks so powdery. That happens if I apply a little bit or if I apply a lot of it. It doesn't matter. It does not sit on top of my pimples well at all. It kind of collects a dry ring around each pimple. I know that sounds really gross, but it makes my pimples look dusty and ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. For my skin type, this isn't the best. Maybe if you have oily skin, you would really like this. I know Casey Holmes raves about this, but for my skin type, it did not work for me. So, so, so bummed about that because that's expensive. That, that's not expensive. That's expensive. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This is part one of my luxury makeup hits and misses. I'm sorry if this video seems negative, but there were a few products that I thought were really, really great. I'm gonna go and film part two right now, but let me know if you wanna see part two, of, you know, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. And then you get a little sliver, and then you get like a little, and then, what am I saying? Tom Ford product is the, no, this is not it. Uh, do, do, am I, what? Who's, who's calling me? Oh, darling, I'm filming a video. I cannot talk right now. But a foundation. Adios.